Coronation Street's Chesney Brown has weathered many ups and downs, with his rocky life on the cobbles being a far cry from that of his off-screen counterpart Sam Aston. Only this week, longtime Weatherfield resident Chesney and wife Gemma Winter Brown, Dolly Rose Campbell, were in for a terrible shock after learning that son Joseph had been poisoned. The upsetting storyline then took another terrible turn after child protection officer Caitlin pointed the finger of blame at Gemma, suggesting that she had purposefully poisoned the poorly youngster. As a cloud of suspicion hangs over the Winder Brown household, we take a look at actor Sam's life away from Corey, from his soap star siblings to his beautiful cottage home. Soap star siblings fans of Coronation Street may not be aware that two of Sam's siblings have previously appeared in the soap, with a love of acting clearly running in his blood. From 1996 to 1997, Sam's older sister Emily Aston played Dave Arnstein's stepdaughter Rebecca Palmer, appearing in a total of 51 episodes, as per her IMDb page. The 41-year-old has also appeared in a number of rival soaps over the years, including Casualty, Hollyoaks, Doctors, and The Bill. Meanwhile, Sam's brother Joseph Aston, 32, also has a Corey connection, having played Jack and Vera Duckworth's grandson Tommy Duckworth's son in 2000, before the role was recast. Eagle-eyed viewers may also recognize Joseph from his appearances in shows such as Where the Heart Is, Heartbeat, and Peak Practice. Family Life and Picturesque Cottage Bake-up Born Sam, 30, lives with yoga teacher wife Bryony and their growing family in a rustic cottage nestled in the countryside, complete with stone floors, exposed brick, and plenty of cozy touches. There is also plenty of green outdoor space for children, 3-year-old Sunny and 18-month-old Daisy. The happy couple recently announced they were expecting their third child together, to the delight of fans. Their pregnancy news has however proven to be bittersweet for the couple, who had been expecting twins before losing one to vanishing twin syndrome. Opening up during a recent interview with OK! Magazine, Brian E. 28, shared, We were excited and thankful, because we always wanted a baby that was healthy. Then we started thinking, we could have had two. Will the living twin always wonder, what if? And will they feel lonely? We found ourselves questioning what could have been, while feeling grateful for what we've got. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116-123. Alternatively, you can email joe at samaritans.org or visit their site to find your local branch Coronation Street Terrors every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8pm on ITV, and can be streamed on ITVX. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads Do you have a story to share? Email us at Julia Banham at reachbook.com Thank you.